So Modern Warfare 3 has come out in open beta. It's taken me a little bit longer to get a video out covering this uh, because I'm not I'm not buying it for early access this time around. I've, I've bought the last five or six or so cons in a row and um, I'm, I'm not, not going to get this one. Uh, I think the Sony deal is still ongoing up to Modern Warfare 3. But after that, uh, with that Xbox's acquisition of Activision Blizzard gone through, I think we're going to see all the cops come to Game Pass, hopefully. But for, what is it, like a seven, eight hour campaign, which, yes, they're generally pretty good in the Modern Warfare games. Well, even Cold War was pretty good. But we'll ignore Vanguard. The only thing I'm really kind of a bit meh about is the Zombies mode, just because that's fun, co-op with friends. And maybe the campaign, uh, but I'm not. I'm not spending another 80, 90, 100 pounds just for that. It's it, it, this is a, a glorified DLC for Modern Warfare 2. It feels very similar. There are some changes, but what we will do, without me talking too much more, give my impressions, and uh, let's jump into a game though. While, while, while I uh, talk too much, let me know your thoughts on that though. Are you in the same kind of viewpoint as me with this one? I know we don't expect too much to change. If it's not broke, don't fix it, kind of thing, but. It will be quite interesting, though, with the Microsoft acquisition. Whether Sony continue to get Call of Duty, is it, uh, I'd like that they do and don't completely cut everybody off, but just give Xbox those exclusives. One feature I do like that they've added, if you ADS and then press E, it goes to tactical aim. I really do like that addition. Um, but other than that, it's got all your usual inspect animations, which, as always, I don't think there's a game that does it better. I love this one especially. <laughs> that is so sick. Oh my god, I sound like one of my kids. Uh, we're also maximum settings, 1440p, getting 100 FPS. On uh, just a deathmatch map. It's not uh, the larger ground war yet, but uh, it's not too bad. Performance is acceptable. Running on my 5800X 3D and a 3090. running as good as you'd expect i mean it's just it's a call of duty isn't it so it's just more of the same a couple of little tweaks here and there fast paced there's another one we got this slides real quick though i don't know if that's been tweaked it feels quicker than i remember what the heck it was a rat can i tactical in with a shotgun nice i can all right let's see if we can get some tactical kills From what I understand as well, all these maps were from Modern Warfare 2. It's been a long time since I played Modern Warfare 2. So uh, that's why, what it kind of sealed the DLC for Modern Warfare 2 kind of thing for me. Whereas a full-blown standalone kind of thing, it's just... Obviously the campaign carries on from where 2 left off. But these maps are all from the original Modern Warfare 2 from 2009. Remastered. They do look very nice. It's Bring back some memories. Some of them I do remember. This one, not so much. Reloading. Whoa, we're just we're just camping in. Oh, oh, oh. in the bedroom. Sorry. Your halfway to mission complete. Reloading. No, I can't remember this map. I remember this room. Oh, it's coming back to me. It is coming back to me slowly. Oh. I love this shotgun. One one requesting recon at this time. Copy that. UAV online and opting the AO. Friendly counter UAV is online. Put that there. Where the hell did that person come from, by the way? Hello? Oh! They're coming, boys! Target area marked. You're cleared hot. Solid copy. Tiger 4 launching SAE. Inbound hot. How many kills are we going to get? Battery's out. 
Oh, not too bad. A couple of kills. I'm leveling up all the stuff, boys. Whoa. I got shotted. Oh my god, I'm so scared right now. I saw the light there. Got him. Reloading. I've got to see these. Inspects, man. Seconds remain. Ten seconds remaining. Ah, oh, it's so good. That's so nice. The animations, man. Oh! So, oh my God, scare the shit. Also, it, it literally runs in uh, Modern Warfare 2. You just launch it and then switch the mode. It, it literally is DLC for Modern Warfare 2, but at a full AAA price. So bringing up our performance on the larger ground war map. Oh god, this is loud. It doesn't seem any different performance. Still getting the same FPS. Frame timing is very steady. A low line there on the graph. Anyway, let's turn that off and shoot people. Fire in the hole. Oh, that was an accidental kill, my friend. Somebody up there. There we go. About the water. Is that different? I know they had cool water physics in uh, Modern Warfare 2 in 2019. <laughs> yep, it's still got that cool water physics. Okay, got one of them. Oh my god, <laughs> that was so epic. I'm not I'm not gonna buy it. I'm not buying this game, guys. Oh I heard somebody. Getting a horrible stutter suddenly. Whoa, every everything's going on like five FPS. It's making it really hard to aim. Oh, this is painful. Still managed to get a kill though. I think everybody's getting it because they're really struggling to hit me as well. Oh, what the hell was that? The mission is complete. Good work. 
But yeah, that's that's Modern Warfare 3. Obviously, there'll be zombies, which I'm kind of interested in for the open world zombie co-op stuff with friends um, and the campaign to continue from Modern Warfare 2. But uh, it, it's more of the same. Some cool little tweaks and changes like the tactical aim and some other, other tools that have been brought back and especially the maps from Modern Warfare 2 2009. I don't know if they're trying to like use nostalgia too much to, to get sales. Maybe, I don't know. I'm looking forward to a more committed Game Pass, though, down the line. Probably won't be till next year, though, like I said. Modern Warfare 3 is still with that Sony uh, exclusivity first. But hopefully the uh, Xbox doesn't make Call of Duty's Xbox only and everybody gets, still gets to play these games. That's one bad thing about uh, buying all these companies up and the worry is uh, people are going to get left out kind of thing. But I guess time will tell with that. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below if you tried the open beta for Modern Warfare 3. Did you like it? Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to continue seeing the content I create. Most of all, thank you for watching, and I'll see you peeps next time.